I don't even know what to say. This is by far my biggest Blu-ray update ever for the month of September. Get me to the doctor quick. I need medication. I have a serious problem. In the month of September, I accumulated this many. How's it going everybody? Tommy Sorry, you thank you for clicking on this video. And uh, yeah, I think I'm a little bit uh, later than usual uh, for my September Blu-ray update. Uh, it is like almost the end of October and I'm just now getting my September update out. So I apologize for that everybody. I've been super, super busy. Um, got back to work this month. Um, I just lots been going on i've been trying to get other videos busted out and just a lot going on uh, a lot of personal issues that i've been uh trying to deal with and uh so yeah i apologize but here it is finally my september blu-ray update and as i just mentioned yes i don't know how i accumulated this many blu-rays in september um i know i traded in a lot of dvds um, and sold a lot of codes and a lot of stuff. So I was able to purchase a little bit more than usual, usual. Um, uh, but I, yeah, 133 titles this month, you guys. I don't even know. Has there ever been a Blu-ray update that big? I have no idea. This has got to be the biggest Blu-ray update in history. Uh, and because it's so big, I, I don't want to try to cram it all into one video. I am going to do two parts this time. And the way I'm going to... Uh, split it up is I'm going to do all my still books. That'll be the part two because I do have a lot of still books in this update, more than I've ever had. And those take a little bit more time because I like to show you guys the inside, the, the, you know, the back, the front, all that kind of stuff. So that'll take a little bit longer. So I'm going to make that the part two. All my still books, I got a little bit of everything. We got some horror still books, uh, a lot of you know, A to Z catalog type uh, still books. I got a lot of DC Marvel still books. So a lot of really cool still books, uh, this update. Um, and then uh, the first half, which is, you know, this one right now is just going to be everything else. So I'm going to try to cram them both together uh, into two separate videos. Hopefully they're, you know, both these videos aren't too long. Um, I'm definitely going to try to do, uh, go as fast as I can for you guys so we can get, get it all in. So on top of all the still books, I also got, this was a very big Disney month for me uh, for September. October has actually been pretty good for Disney as well, which obviously you guys will see next month. Um, but I, 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 I've mentioned before, I've been putting a lot of my focus on to Disney. Kind of, you know, I'm done with Scream Factory. Um, as I mentioned, pretty much slowing down on still books now i got i got three more mcu still books to get but they're the most expensive ones so i'm not really in a big rush to get the last three um I, I am going to get them at some point but just not anytime soon because they're like they're the expensive ones captain america one the first avenger thor the first one and then iron man two they're the three most expensive ones um so i will get them at some point to just to complete the collection but uh i just kind of put that on hold for now and then uh, you know Pretty much got all the, you know, still books I think I'm going to get for a while. I do have a, a nice chunk of still books that I picked up this month that you'll see next month as well, but not nearly as many as I got in this update. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, like I was saying, um, a ton of Disney, lots and lots of Disney, um, a, a nice big chunk of uh, A to Z, um, a few DC Marvel titles, uh, you know, non-steel books. Um, I got... Uh, um, one collector set, uh, so a badass collector set, and then I um, also got some more horror and uh, a few DVDs, uh, like four. So, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's what September looks like. What was that? What? Say that again. 
September looks like what? September looks like Jess is gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> Jess will be joining me too uh, in part of this update. Um, she, I think she got a few titles uh, in September, but she's gonna join up with me uh, for the Disney uh, section of this update because uh, she loves Disney and she wants to talk uh, about uh, some of the Disney. And then there's a, a little section in my blue, uh, my still book. Which is going to be in part two, uh, the part two to this video. So mine. There's a, a collection of still books that I picked up that she wants to be a part of as well. Because they're mine, they're not yours. So <laughs> while I'm sitting here doing this in the living room, she's going to be uh, cooking the kids dinner. So how can you hug me right now after I just bought 133 new Blu-rays? <laughs> this is me trying to be the better person in this relationship. God, I love her. Seriously. Oh. It's coming later. <laughs> there's a there's the darkness though inside of her that there's payment coming back <laughs> later. Real quick, also everybody, before we actually get into the update, I just wanted to throw out there really quick um, that I just a day or two ago actually hit 400 subscribers uh, on, on this channel, and uh, that's awesome. I just wanted to thank you guys uh, real quick. Um, I, I, I owe a lot of it lately to uh, those Facebook groups because I've been uh, I've been uh, putting a lot of posts in there about my channel uh, and different you know videos um, and a lot of people have been going in lately and subbing and it's really helped to kind of uh, bump things up a lot lately so uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody so much for uh, subscribing lately and getting me up to 400 it wasn't even that long ago when I hit 300 and I did that uh, you know, my 300 subscriber giveaway and I'm already at 400. Um, and like I mentioned before, uh, 500 is going to be my next giveaway. I definitely want to plan something really cool for that. So, um, yeah. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate it a lot, everybody. Um, and it's just, uh, just an awesome thing. 400 subscribers. So you guys rock. Let's keep doing it. Let's keep doing it. Let's keep growing this channel. Okay, so enough talking. I'm excited to show you guys what I got, and I, I'm gonna apologize in advance if I'm gonna if I kind of rush through this, you guys. But like I said, the biggest update in, in Blu-ray update updating history. So I have to get through these quick. I don't want to make you guys sit and watch this for too long. So let's get into it. Starting with DVDs. All right. So like I said, not a lot of DVDs. First one I got here is a movie called Where the Heart Is. Um, I remember uh, my uh, ex-wife, I remember watching this with her uh, a long time ago. She made me watch this one day. And it turned out to be a really good movie. You got Ashley Judd and Natalie Portman in here. And I think when we broke up, when we divorced, she took this. <laughs> so she, she won this in the divorce. I remember liking it a lot, and I really want uh, Jess to see this. Um, I told her about it, and she's excited to see it. But a really, really good movie. Big time chick flick, but I'm like that. I'm into chick flicks, and I, I like this movie. So it's it's very a very good movie. So I think you're more into chick flicks than I am. This next movie I got here, I I only picked up because I'm a huge biopic guy. You guys know that I love my biopics, and uh, this just happened to be one of a, a recent biopic that got released that straight to DVD, no Blu-ray. Pretty positive there's no Blu-ray, and that is the Britney Spears biopic, uh, Britney Ever After. Not like I'm a huge Britney Spears fan, but I find biopics very interesting because it's obviously not it's not going to just be about some, you know, Britney Spears music type movie. I mean, in biopics, you know, they get into detail about the life story of the, that person. And I always find these really interesting. So I've seen that this came out recently and uh, I picked this up at Walmart. Um, I just, I haven't watched it yet, but, you know, like I said, I love biopics and, you know, I didn't know that they made a Britney Spears one, so... Gonna be checking that out. Okay, uh, this next one here, a movie I already own on Blu-ray. Um, I used to have it on uh, DVD, but uh, I gave it away when I bought the Blu-ray. I got the Blu-ray still book of this. Uh, you guys probably seen this in my uh, Stephen King September It Collection video I did not too long ago, but I picked this up at Walmart uh, just for the collection to put up on the shelf, because I really like this slipcover. Uh, the It DVD never had a slipcover before, and these are those new artwork things that uh, Walmart put out this year 
in their Halloween section. So I thought it was a cool slipcover. I like the artwork. Just the standard release. As you see, I haven't even opened it yet. And I, you know, I'm not going to open it, you know, because I'm never going to watch it. Um, you know, that's what the Blu-ray's for. But yeah, I just, I like the artwork, so I just picked that up for that reason. And now this last one, I'm really excited. I'm not usually this excited about a DVD, but this DVD has been out of print for a long, long time. And uh, if you go online, it usually ranges around $100, to be honest with you. It's uh, give or take, it's about 100 bucks for this little double, double feature. And I came across a post on one of those Facebook groups that I'm, uh, that I, you know, that I go on and buy and sell on. And somebody said that they found a seller on eBay from, I think, the UK or something that got a big stock of these in. And, you know, we're all debating, are they bootlegs? What's the deal? And they're not. They're a legit uh, title and uh, or, a, excuse me, a legit DVD uh, release. You know, this is the real deal. And he was selling them for 15 bucks free shipping a piece. And none of us could figure out why, because like I said, they're $100 out of print uh, on eBay and Amazon or whatever, wherever you go to look for it. And uh, brand new, still sealed. And this, I don't know, this guy must have just ended up with a ton of them and wanted to sell them really quick. So he threw them on there for 15 bucks. But I finally got my hands on the Star Wars Ewok Adventures. Uh, Caravan of Courage and uh, the Battle for Endor. Um, this is a little Star Wars spinoff that focuses around the Ewoks. Um, quickly, I'm going to tell you a funny story. When I was like four years old, I remember being scared shitless of this movie. I think it was the Caravan of Courage one. The one that has that big, tall, huge monster creature looking thing. I have yet to watch this, um, since I got it. I, I don't know why I just been busy, but I want to watch it again because I haven't seen it probably since back in those days, but I'm a huge Star Wars fan and no Blu-ray of this, um, but I had to get the DVD. I'm so happy I finally have this now. Um, like I said, you get both of these Star Wars films in here. Um, and like I said, it's just a Star Wars spinoff. You know, there's no other Star Wars characters in it but the Ewoks. Um, but, uh, yeah, 15 bucks. I could not believe it. And, I mean, if you look at it, it's it's legit, you know. It's, uh, it's a real disc and everything, so... I don't know if the guy still has them on there or not, but it's, I guess it'd be worth a look if you guys want to get this. Search it in eBay and see if you can come across the guy selling them for 15 bucks a piece. But yes, happy I finally got that. All right, so moving on. I'm going to run through my horror titles. I got a nice, decent little stack. Um, take a look at them here. See? Not a bad little stack. Um... So starting with the first one here, uh, finally got the Paranormal Activity, ooh, <laughs> Paranormal Activity films on Blu-ray. I came across this at uh, Half Price Books, I believe, or actually I think this was a pawn shop. Yeah, uh, it's like two dollars for this, you guys. Uh, on Tuesdays, all their Blu-rays are only like two bucks, so two dollars for the triple pack of the first three Paranormal Activity films, and then I think later that same day, I found a. Uh, the Marked Ones, which I've always called it a part five because it was the fifth one to come out. But apparently it's not necessarily... I've, I've never seen past the first three. I'll tell you that right off the bat. I've seen these three, but I've never seen the, the, the other three. But anyways, I always look considered this part five, but I guess it's more of a spinoff. So it's not technically part of the series. I, I don't quite understand that. Um, but I call it a part five. But anyways, Paranormal Activity, Marked Ones with the slipcover uh, over at Half Price Books. 10 bucks. This close got the lenticular slipcover. So I got these. So now I just need uh, Paranormal Activity 4 and then Paranormal Activity of Ghost Dimension, which uh, you will see in my October October update. So at that same pawn shop, um, I, I grabbed a little stack of Blu-rays. I mean, how could you turn down $2 for a Blu-ray, Blu right? <laughs> um, I remember seeing this once before, a movie called The Invisible. Um... I seen this a while ago. I had the DVD of it. I uh, didn't even know they had a Blu-ray of this. And I just figured, you know what, for two bucks, I'll, I'll upgrade it to Blu-ray just to the hell of it. I remember kind of liking it. Um, if you guys want to read what it's about there. Um, basically, this kid just dies and uh, he's trying to communicate with people um, as a ghost or whatever. But, yeah, I don't know. 
It was all right. So everybody knows that recently, uh, well, last month, uh, Dollar Tree brought back all their dollar Blu-rays. Um, and uh, I kind of missed out on the majority of them when I went there. They only had this title, uh, Shark Night. I've never seen it, and I guess, you know, bringing it to the, uh, you see all that smoke there. Smokers, I tell you. If it's a dollar at the dollar store, then it's got to be a shitty movie. <laughs> but, I mean, for a buck, why the hell not, you know? I like creature features. I, I like movies, you know, with killer sharks and whatnot. Um, the Shallows was an awesome movie. But for a dollar, I mean, why the hell not? Uh, I think most people can find a dollar in their couch, right? <laughs> it changed, but I'll, I'll get around to this at some point. But Shark Night, dollar, dollar store. All right, next up, uh, I picked this up over at Half Price Books, You're Next. I remember liking this movie a lot. I, I saw it when it first came out. I picked it up on DVD and uh, definitely wanted to upgrade this to Blu-ray. This is a really cool uh, horror flick. Um, I actually just picked up the slipcover for it uh, from uh, somebody in one of those groups. It's actually in the mail right now. So I got the slipcover for it as well. But yeah, this is a, a pretty darn cool movie. So uh, definitely check this movie out if you guys haven't seen this movie. Uh, you know, especially October. What better time to check out new horror movies, right? But you're next. Really cool movie. Okay, next up, I uh, got a couple movies here that I'm uh, very happy to have found all these and upgraded them to Blu-ray. Starting with The Conjuring. Um, I think these are like some of the best horror films that have come around in a while. Um, I'm not a big fan of horror movies nowadays. Um, and uh, these type of movies too, like these like ghost, demon, paranormal type movies, I'm not a huge fan of these kind of movies. But the Conjuring movies are great. I fucking love them. Um, so I found this one at Pawn America um, with the lenticular slip. We got a little bit of damage across the top there, but not horrible. Uh, I'm happy that I was able to find the lenticular slip. Uh, but uh, I'm really happy to have found um, the con all the Conjuring films uh, and upgrade them to Blu-ray. Here's uh, the Conjuring 2. Um, I... I don't know why I am, I'm like 99% positive part two didn't come with a slipcover. I don't know why they do that. Um, I'm like almost positive there's no slipcover for part two. And it just pisses me off because um, here's uh, the other one, Annabelle, which is like the prequel to these. Um, and, you know, this one has a slipcover. <clears throat> I, I like all three of these. Um, I don't know which one. I mean, I think maybe I think the original is probably my favorite, but I think they're all great films. Um, and just in time too, because depending on when you guys, it's Monday right now. I don't know when you guys are going to see this either. Probably tomorrow it'll, it'll be up. I don't know, but Annabelle creation comes out to Blu-ray tomorrow and I'll definitely be picking that up. So yeah, I'll have all four of them. I can't wait to watch the one. I, I wanted to see it in the theater and I never did. Um, but it comes to Blu-ray tomorrow. So next up a uh, movie I've been looking for on Blu-ray for a really long time. It's more of a thriller suspense, not really a horror movie, but I keep it in the horror section. Uh, and that is phone booth, uh, three bucks over at Pawn America. Uh, really great film, uh, Colin Farrell, Forrest Whitaker, and then Kiefer Sutherland. Kiefer Sutherland pretty much is just the voice in this whole movie. He's the guy in the other line, uh, in the other, uh, end of the phone. Uh, but this is a fun-ass movie, man. All right, next up is another M. Night Shyamalan film that I've been trying to find on Blu-ray. Found it at the pawn shop. I think it was like three bucks. Uh, Unbreakable. Uh, this is, of course, uh, uh, spoiler alert <laughs> for anybody who hasn't seen Split yet. Uh, this is basically the, you know, the first Split movie. Because, uh, you know, if you guys watch that end scene of Split... Uh, it ties into Unbreakable. Really, really cool movie. Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson. Superhero movie, but a really dark superhero movie. Um, and uh, something a little bit different for M. Night Shyamalan, but I, I thought it was awesome. Another movie I finally snagged out of the Walmart dump bin, The Shining. Um, I don't know why I was waiting to get this movie on Blu-ray. Um, I think I was looking more for like a better edition. like Because I, th I thought there was a digi book of this. And I know that there's a still book too, but... I just figured, what the hell, I don't have it on Blu-ray yet. You gotta get it. This is just classic horror. You know, uh, Jack Nicholson, it's just, it's awesome. And, you know, Stephen King, you know, who, who better than Stephen King when it comes to horror movies, but... 
Another movie that I have the slipcover in the mail uh, right now, um, and that's Maggie, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Cool movie. Uh, this movie is uh, a lot of fun. Um, you know me, I always grab Schwarzenegger films anytime I see them. Um, and uh, this was a lot of fun. Like I said, the slipcover is actually on the way, uh, in the mail right now on the way, because uh, I really like the slipcover to this, uh, or at least I had a slipcover on the DVD copy, but uh, I had to get the slipcover for the Blu-ray too. But five bucks, half price books. Had to pick it up. All right, next up we got a movie that a lot of people just fucking hate, man. <laughs> and that is A Nightmare on Elm Street, the remake. Um, I agree, it's probably one of the, I don't know, one of the worst horror remakes out there. But I love Freddy Krueger. Uh, obviously, you guys know I'm a huge horror fan. And the main reason why I bought this is because, I mean, obviously I have to have it to complete the collection. And I had, um, you know, I got that one through seven Blu-ray Nightmare on Elm Street set that they make. <coughs> and, you know, they don't have a complete set that has Freddy vs. Jason and this one included. Like they do with Jason. You know, Jason's got everything, Freddy vs. Jason and the remake. Um, but there's no good set of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street yet. And uh, I had the... Um, you know, obviously I already have Freddy vs. Jason in my Friday 13th set. And then what I ended up doing is I picked up that triple feature that has this, the Friday 13th remake, and Freddy vs. Jason in a triple pack. And that was kind of stupid because, like, I didn't need those movies twice. And I really wanted to get the individual copy of this because of the slipcover. I love this lenticular slipcover. Um, I don't, you know, I, I mean, even though the movie's not that good... I think what I like about this movie is that, one, I mean, even though, you know, what the, what's this dude's name? Uh, Jackie Earl Haley, or I think his name is. Even though he's not near as good as Robert England, obviously Robert England is Freddy Krueger. But I thought he did a pretty decent job. He had big shoes to fill, and he did his best, I think. And what I really like about it is that Freddy Krueger has more of a realistic look, you know, like, you know, like if, if, like what a true burned victim would look like is what he looks like in this movie. I like that aspect about the movie, how they gave him a more realistic look of what somebody burned would really look like. Because Freddy Krueger, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the way Freddy Krueger looks. He's one of my favorite horror icons of all time. But he's just more Hollywood uh, looking. You know, because, I mean, if somebody got burned, they wouldn't really look like that. He's more of a monster-looking type burned victim, which is okay and fine and everything. But I just like how in this one, Freddy Krueger looks more like an actual burned victim. So that's my two cents for this movie. But even though it's not that good, I like the slipcover. And uh, speaking of which, um, I ordered this movie off Amazon. I knew the slipcover wouldn't come. So I was looking everywhere for it, and I finally... Finally got it from a seller uh, on uh, one of those Facebook groups who is a really awesome guy. Um, I, I think I've bought it from him before. I'm pretty sure I have. Um, actually, I just purchased a couple more from him the other day. Um, but uh, he's got a YouTube channel as well. And uh, his, last, his last video he just posted, which was uh, his Blu-ray update. Uh, for October, uh, he gave me a shout out. Um, you know, he was showing this movie. He just bought the movie, but he's not really super big into slipcovers, so he usually gets rid of them. And I needed it really bad. And uh, he sold it to me, and he also just gave me a shout out on his recent video. Uh, so I really appreciate that, buddy. Go check this guy out. Yeah, he's uh, fairly new. He just started a few months ago. And he's already got himself over 200 subs, which is awesome. So any help that we can give that guy, I think he totally deserves it. He's got one hell of a setup, one amazing collection. This dude's got like over 1,500 Blu-rays. He's got me beat. <laughs> I mean, he's got one hell of a collection. And I love the way he has them displayed. And he's just, he's a cool guy. Go check him out. He's called The Blue Obsession. Um, I will put his uh, link down in the description box. So definitely go give that guy a sub if you would. You won't be disappointed, but... Anyways, moving on. Thanks uh, for the slip, dude. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, movie I wanted to upgrade to Blu-ray for some time. I, I didn't even know it was on Blu-ray up until a few months ago. And uh, finally, you know, when I placed my final Scream Factory Amazon order, 
this is one that uh, I got, I, I also ordered at the same time, and that is Flowers in the Attic. Really, really good movie, you guys. It, I, I remember watching this when I was really young. Um, it's got uh, Christy Swanson in it from, uh, you know, Buffy from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie. Um, and uh, it's, it's just a kick-ass movie. It's really weird. Like, if you guys want to read about it, if you can see that, pretty much like these kids, their uh, their dad dies, and then they they go with their mom to live with their grandma, and uh, basically the the mom like meets this new guy, and he's got a lot of money, and you know she kind of focuses more on this new guy, and you know kind of leaves her kids, you know doesn't give them any, really any more attention, and uh, the grandma is like super fucking evil. <laughs> And uh, they she pretty much locks them up in the attic at the grandmother's house, and you know they they're bringing them food here and there, but then they slowly stop bringing them food, like it kind of slows down, and they start poisoning them. Like the grandma starts putting like poison on their cookies, you know, and and stuff like that. You know when she brings them food, and they're just basically slowly dying up in this attic, and uh, their mom eventually stops coming to see them, you know, and it's 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 really crazy. It's it's. It's a good movie. I, I'm happy to upgrade this to Blu-ray. Um, check this movie out, you guys, if you haven't seen it. It's 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 a pretty bizarre movie. All right. So happy this movie finally came to Blu-ray. I think it came to Blu-ray like, I don't know. I think in August or September. I can't remember when this came. I was a little late in getting it. This is another movie I got with my Amazon order uh, with all my remaining Screen Factories. But The Good Son with Macaulay Culkin. Uh, finally got, uh, got this. Uh, this is one of those uh, Kino Lorber um, uh, releases. Um, I've already watched it, um, and the Blu-ray transfer looks pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say it's amazing or anything, but it, it, it's decent. But th I'm just happy that Good Son finally came to Blu-ray. Um, and uh, like I said, it took me a little while to get it, but I finally got it. already watched it. Awesome. I remember when this first came out, you know, Macaulay Culkin was the big Home Alone kid, and to see him in a movie like this was so odd at the time. <laughs> just, you know, it was some crazy little kid, but I love this movie. Absolutely. Just a couple more here. Uh, a really funny spoof movie from the executive producer of Scary Movie, Stan Helsing. This movie's funny. Um, I remember when I had first seen this at, I think, Walmart back in the day, and I picked up the DVD. I just mainly bought it just for the the cover. I mean, just all those char crazy characters. You get spoofs of like Freddy, Jason, Leatherface, Chucky, Pinhead, Michael Myers, and uh, it's just crazy as hell. It's it's not that good to be honest, but it's fun and uh, just you know an over the top spoof movie on horror characters. And uh, you know he's like supposed to be like Van Helsing's like great 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 nephew or something like that, and he's called Stan Helsing. And, you know, they just got to take care of all these crazy-ass killers <laughs> that are just spoofs of all the horror icons. It's a it's a fun movie, like I said. I mean, I, I didn't know this was on Blu-ray either. And uh, I came across it. I can't remember where the hell I found this at. Probably, like, a half-price books or a pawn shop or something really cheap. So I said, hell yeah, I'm going to grab this on Blu-ray. It's cool. Check that. It's, it's worth a watch. And, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of spoof movies. You know, I, I like them for what they are, but... I had to get this one on Blu-ray. It, it's cool. All right. Got two more to go here. Um, next up is... Uh, trying to think what year this came out. 2012. The Thing remake. I'd never seen The Thing remake. Um, and uh, I, to be honest with you, I haven't really heard a lot of good things about it. But uh, I found it really cheap. It was like four bucks somewhere. Um, and, uh, I just grabbed it just for the hell of it. Just, I don't know, you know, cause I got the, I love the original John Carpenter and, uh, I just figured, uh, you know, I'll go ahead and just pick it up for the hell of it. Um, you guys let me know if you think this remake is any good or not. Yeah, I definitely want to check this out at some point, but, uh, like I said, it was cheap. It was four bucks. So, all right. Last up is a, the one and only arrow title. I don't have a lot of Arrow, but I'm definitely trying to get more. I'm not going to go super gung-ho with Arrow titles because there's so many of them. But uh, there's a few ones that I definitely want to get my hands on. And so happy to see this edition. And that is Children of the Corn, um, the original. 
Uh, this is just one hell of a release, you know. It's love the slipcover on here. Um, it's got kind of like a little, like a slight gloss to it. Um, and uh, here's the Blu-ray, one of those thicker, clear cases that you know Arrow does a lot. Um, but awesome addition of this. You also get a poster in here, as you guys can see. Um, alternate artwork, like what Screen Factory does, but I guess Arrow does it a lot too. Uh, here's the original artwork, and then you know the new artwork is that right there, which is I flipped it over. Uh, but as you guys can see, uh, I'll show you all the um, all the special edition, the special features that you get in here. If you guys can see all that, look at that, just loaded with special features. If you guys can even see all that. Um, and then you get a, uh, I think you get like a poster. Yeah, this is a booklet. Okay. Yeah, because most of the time Arrow comes with these like booklets. Um, but just, you know, one of those standard booklets you get with uh, most of the Arrow titles. It's awesome. And then here's the poster. I think this is reversible as well. Yeah. So there's the, uh, you know, original. Oh, I guess the other side is a little bit different from the slipcover. Oh, this is cool. I don't remember. I don't even know if I ever even looked at this yet. Um, but yeah, I get another, some other new artwork on here. That's pretty sweet. But yeah, I mean, in my opinion, Arrow is almost as cool as Scream Factory, if not as cool, but um, with their special editions. You know, I got like their Hills Have Eyes and their, uh, what else do I have? Um, <laughs> I only have like three or four. I can't even remember offhand what the hell I have. But anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, just really awesome edition of the original Children of the Corn, which is by far the best one. Um, you know, that's for sure. God, I'm already at like... <laughs> Over a half hour now. I, I got to start cooking through here. Okay, you guys. So the first thing I got is that new special edition of Kingsmen, The Secret Service. Um, I already own this movie. But I, I found the... Uh, this was only $15. How can you say no to this, you know? Um, nice, thick uh, case. Um, here's the Blu-ray. Um, you get these postcards in here. Um, you, know, a real, you know, a really nice colored book. Just a really nice special edition of this movie. Um, I just couldn't say no. Even though I already owned it, I just, I had to get it just for the collection. You know, I'm just a crazy Marvel DC fan. Um, I'm trying to get this damn thing off. Just want to show you guys this stuff really quick. So, you just take a quick peek at all these. And all the characters in the, in the movie. So, yeah, there you go. Next up is uh, one of the last remaining Blu-rays that I needed. I have this on DVD. I didn't even know that this was on Blu-ray because when I used to look for it on Amazon and eBay, all that ever came up was like um, this like region, uh, this other region version, like a region B or something like that, that didn't even have the title of the name in English, you know? And then all of a sudden, one day out of the blue, I seen it, uh, and that is Catwoman. Um, it's, uh, I mean, and it's not really new to Blu-ray. I mean, apparently it's been around for a while, but I somehow I miss it in the past. Is it a good movie? Not really. I mean, I more or less just got it because Halle Berry is hot as hell <laughs> in that Catwoman suit. But also, you know me, DC Marvel, I, I collect every single DC Marvel film that I can on Blu-ray. And this is one of the last ones I needed, so Catwoman. So happy this finally came to Blu-ray. Batman Mask of the Phantasm came out, like, a month or two ago um and i'm just so happy this is like the pretty much the main one and only batman animated film that hit theaters it was a big huge theater release a few other animated batman films have hit theaters as well but very small uh areas like not big wide release just various different theaters uh but this one was the big huge one and this is based off of the you know the popular Batman animated series with uh, Mark Hamill um, as, you know, voicing the Joker and uh, Kevin Conroy as uh, Batman. But uh, had this on DVD, finally came to Blu-ray. 
so happy. Would have been very happy if there was a slip cover on this bad boy, but what can you do? So next up, if you guys remember, uh, in one of my unboxings, I got a bunch of still books from some guy um, in one of those groups, and he threw this in as a gift. Um, as you know, I got a still book of this, and it wasn't my region, so I couldn't even watch it. So I was thinking about getting rid of it, but then I, I just happened to come across this for five dollars at Half Price Books with a slip, and that's just the standard Blu-ray edition. Um, so I figured, hell yeah, now I'll just keep the still book because if I have the movie watchable on another, you know, edition or whatever of it, then I don't care if the uh, still book is not even in my region because it's, I just have it from the collection. So Hulk versus. Um, this is Hulk versus Thor, Hulk versus uh, Wolverine, uh, two different movies in here. I believe it's like two separate like episodes or whatever, but, um, yeah. Um, and as you guys see, if, if you've been noticing, uh, um, I've been keeping my, uh, Disney Scream Factories and, uh, DC Marvel titles in these new, uh, protector cases. Um, not like the thick ones, like my still books, but just like the thinner, cheaper ones. Uh, but just to help protect the slipcover. Uh, but yeah, so I now I can actually watch it. And uh, so now I have this on Slipbook and Slipcover Edition. So, All right, next up is a, um, basically it's a, docu a documentary that I've been wanting to get for some time. And it's a documentary based off of this movie. If you guys remember my last, I think it was my last update or the one before, I can't remember. I picked this up when I went to Indiana. And this is that Lost Fantastic Four film. You know, this was the DVD. Um, yes, this is that lost Fantastic Four film from uh, Fantastic Four film from Roger Corman that never actually got released, uh, but somehow it kind of slipped through the cracks, and you can actually get copies of it. And this is like just like a bootleg or something, um, uh, you know. But at least now I have the movie. You know, that's why I was happy to buy this. Um, my dog's hair is on this. <laughs> anyway. Um, but anyway, so this movie, they made uh, a documentary and uh, somebody was actually selling a bunch, I shouldn't say somebody, the director of this uh, documentary, um, which is, uh, let's see if his name is actually listed in here. Um, yeah, Marty Langford. Okay. Um, he is the director of this documentary. It's a, it's a documentary called Doomed. Um, the Untold Story of Roger Corman's The Fantastic Four film. And basically it just kind of talks about how, you know, what they went through to try to get this movie released and all the trouble that they went through. I haven't watched it yet, but I've read a lot about it. And uh, it's got some cool special features on here. Apparently in this particular edition, it's got special features that I guess the other release that you can get through Amazon doesn't have, I think is what the director told me. But it was so funny when I was purchasing this through the Facebook group, I didn't even know that I was talking to the actual director of this. That was so cool. Um, and he sold them really, really cheap. So if you guys want to copy of this, you know, uh, the dude's, like I said, the dude's name is Marty Langford. Um, and, uh, you know, if you guys can try to Google him or find him, you might be able to get yourself a copy. But yeah, it's just a documentary talking about the, uh, all the crap they uh, went through trying to get this movie made and uh, released. And it didn't exactly go the way they all hoped for. But yeah, doomed. Happy to have this in the uh, Marvel collection. Okay, and the very last DC Marvel title is Wonder Woman. We all know Wonder Woman just came out last month. Uh, fourth film in the DC Extended Universe. You know me, I always go with, I always get the Digibooks over at Target. I've gotten the Digibook for all four of them, and uh, they never disappoint. I mean, I just love that. How she, you know, changes from Wonder Woman to uh, Diana. Uh, but these digibooks are just so badass. You just get like, um, you know, a nice big colored booklet at the beginning. Um, just a bunch of cool pictures. You know how the, these booklets work with a lot of these digibooks. Um, but yeah, so there's, yeah, Wonder Woman digibook. Just a gorgeous digibook. You know, I have to get my uh, DC, you know, universe digibooks. And I hope as they keep releasing the titles, Target keeps putting out these uh, digibooks because I'm going to freak out if, if they ever finally release a movie and it doesn't have one of these. But fun movie. I, I liked it. You know, it got a lot of hype. And a lot of people are saying that this is the best in the in the universe so far. And it pretty much is saving the universe. Um, 
I would agree it's a really kick-ass movie, but I don't know. I kind of like some of the other ones better, like Batman vs. Superman. That's just me. I don't know. But it still was an excellent movie. It was kick-ass. I mean, Wonder Woman is just a badass. But uh, there you go. There's all my Marvel DC titles. Okay, A to Z. Boy, I got to speed this up. All right. Another Mark Wahlberg film, Lone Survivor. Found this super, super cheap with the slipcover. A movie I've been meaning to get for some time. Everybody tells me to check it out. They say it's a kick-ass Mark Wahlberg film. And uh, I love Mark Wahlberg. You know me. I'm always trying to stock up in his stuff. So Lone Survivor with the slipcover. Can't wait to watch it. Picked myself up another uh, Tim Burton film, um, Johnny Depp and Dark Shadows. Um, awesome lenticular slipcover on here. Found this for three bucks at Half Price Books, one of the films that they put in their uh, clearance section. Uh, never seen Dark Shadows, but Jess loves this movie a lot. Um, I will definitely be watching this at some point because I love Tim Burton, so awesome. So I don't know how many updates ago, maybe one or two, I got that Hellboy still book. And uh, I had to get the second one, Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. I, um, I actually, I had the slipcover for this already um, and uh, just needed to pick up the movie. And I think I just found this at Pawn America or something really cheap. So yeah, it's got that cool lenticular slip where it goes from like animated to real. <laughs> so I, I never saw the sequel to this movie. Um, I like the first one, it's cool, but I had to get the sequel to that. Another really good biopic, Get On Up. I'm happy to finally upgrade this to Blu-ray. Um, I ordered it off of, uh, I think, Amazon, and I was hoping that it would come with a slipcover, and it didn't. And then I found the slipcover over at Half Price Books, and you guys know my buddy over there always lets me just take the slipcovers. Uh, but yeah, a really good biopic on the life story of uh, James Brown. Uh, Chadwick Boseman um, plays James Brown, does a phenomenal job. He, of course, is Black Panther in the MCU. Uh, but uh, yeah... Really, really good film, you guys. Uh, this was done very well. Uh, Life Story of James Brown. Of course, I had to pick up the brand new Transformers film, The Last Night. Um, the, uh, I don't know, the I haven't watched it yet. Um, I like the Transformers films. Like, the first one is awesome. So, two and three were pretty good. I wasn't too big on seeing the fourth one just because Shia LaBeouf, Shia LaBeouf was no longer part of it, but... Uh, Mark Wahlberg was, so being, I figured, hey, if Mark Wahlberg has taken over the lead role, it's got to be kick-ass. And I liked it, Age of Extinction, Extinction, ugh, Age of Extinction, yes, which was part four. That one was actually pretty good. And now here is part five, The Last Night. Um, like I said, I haven't watched it yet, but uh, um, we'll be definitely getting, getting onto this, you know, probably right after, right into November, you know, once we get out of Halloween season. But uh, another movie I picked up for uh, two bucks over at that uh, pawn shop uh, that was in there uh, that one day and found all those cheap Blu rays. Uh, Sandra Bullock film called Premonition. She gets a premonition of her like husband like dying in a car accident or something. And then, like, she, uh, I don't know, apparently, like, she thought it was a premonition. Like, she, she thought it really happened. Then she find out it didn't. But then it actually did. <laughs> it's all crazy. I don't know. But I found it for $2. I remember kind of liking the film. So I figured just go ahead and pick that up. All right. I picked this up over at Best Buy. Um, I tried um, ordering this to BestBuy.com several times. And I just didn't, just never did it. Um, and then I finally found it in person. And I just figured I'd grab this. Uh, Shakes the Clown with Bobcat Goldthwaite. I think this is the first time to Blu-ray on this. Let me know if I'm wrong on that. I thought it was. But... Kind of a cool movie. Um, I really like the slipcover on this. Um, it was like eight bucks at Best Buy. If you guys want to read what it's about. Um, it's a pretty cool movie. I mean, nothing like super special, but I like Bobcat Goldthwait. And uh, just figured I'd pick it up. Next up, got over at Half Price Books for $4.99 with a mint condition slipcover battleship. Um... I heard a lot of bad stuff about this movie. I still haven't watched it yet. I just picked it up because it was so cheap and the slipcover is awesome. <laughs> uh, more people has, have said it's bad than people have said it's good. Um, so I don't know. I'll check it out one day. I like the game. <laughs> I don't know. Battleship. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this movie.
All right, it takes us to Captain Underpants. Uh, the first epic movie, Hero Edition. Um, apparently this is really the only edition they released of it. But you get the uh, cape <laughs> with it, which I haven't even taken, I haven't even opened up yet. But uh, in order to fit the cape, you know, they give you one of those thicker uh, slipcovers, which I'm not a big fan of this, or, or at least this, you know, how they do the slipcover stuff. Um, cause then it just doesn't exactly fit well with everything else. Um, so I have to put it like a separate special section of my, my movies, but this was a fun movie. I, I actually like this a lot. I, I think I've already seen this like twice because like my son keeps putting it in cause he loves this movie. Uh, he's a big fan of all the books. He read all the books growing up in school and, uh, he saw this when it came out in theater. So I had to pick it up on Blu-ray for him. And like I said, I've watched it a few times. It's a lot of fun. Check this movie out. Watch it with your kids, you guys. It's a it's a good time. All right, a little four-pack uh, films that I picked up here. Um, you get all three Harold and Kumar films in here. Um, and you also get Beer Fest. Um, I owned Harold and Kumar, or A Very Harold and Kumar Christmas, uh, which is the third installment, on Blu-ray for a while now. Because I think somebody just bought it for me as a gift. It was like one of the first Blu-rays I ever got. Um, and uh, what's funny is I still to this day never even watched the third one. i a huge fan of the first one. I love the first film. The second one was okay. Uh, just kind of like a, almost tried to just redo the first one. But uh, and like I said, never seen the third one. Um, and then uh, I never seen Beer Fest. I, I've owned it on DVD for a hundred years, but I just never watched it. Uh, but I thought it was kind of a cool collection to get all the Harold and Kumar films together on Blu-ray. Because like I said, I never own these on Blu-ray, the first two. I only own the third one for some reason. Had to pick up Caddyshack. Found it like two two bucks over at that place. Um, great flick. Rodney Dangerfield, Chevy Chase. Uh, um, wow, Bill Murray. Holy crap. Um... Who doesn't like Caddyshack, right? I don't even know why I didn't even own this movie on Blu-ray. But yeah, like $2. Yes, hell yeah. Found this at a pawn shop with a slipcover. And that is Wayne's World. Yes, I had to finally get my hands on Wayne's World. And yeah, like I said, this has got that really kick-ass uh, uh, Paramount uh, 100 Years uh, slipcover. I thought that was cool. I, I Four bucks. At a pawn shop with slipcover. Now I just gotta get the sequel. Um, so awesome. Next couple here are uh, some more. Mark Wahlberg picked up Contraband um, with Kate Beckinsale. I've never seen this movie. Um, my my uh, buddy Craig says it's really good. He's a huge Mark Wahlberg fan. Uh, Four dollars. Um, I just like I said, been trying to stock up on all Wahlberg films. So uh, I figured, hey, $4, I'll grab it while I see it. Um, let me know if you guys have seen this before, uh, what, what you guys think of this movie, but Contraband. And then um, the other guys. <laughs> I had to pick up this movie. It's funny. It, it's not one of the greatest. It's not as good as you would think it would be. A little bit over the top and kind of cheesy, but it's Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg together. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Wahlberg in comedy. I like his action or drama, more serious roles a little bit better. But it's still a funny movie. So not too long ago, my buddy Craig um, put a post on uh, one of these Facebook groups, uh, Talk Movies With Us or something like that, one of the groups that we follow, showing it, showing off his uh, uh, the Farley Brother uh, films. And uh, this was in that stack, uh, in that picture that he posted on there, and I'm like, why don't I have that movie? Because I love the Farley Brothers. They're just awesome. Kingpin, Dumb and Dumber. Yes, baby. And uh, I seen this in his stack, and I'm like, why the hell don't I own this movie? And it just so happens that, like, that moment when I came across that post, I was at FYE, and I just, for the hell of it, I'm like, I'm going to go see if they have it. They did. Like six bucks or something. Uh, I think, because I think it was, it was used. It was a used copy. But it's like perfect. Uh, but yeah, there's something about Mary. Cameron Diaz, Matt Dillon, Ben Stiller. Hilarious movie. Not as funny, I think, as Kingpin or or Dumb and Dumber, but it's still awesome. 
And if you like the Farley Brothers, you have to own this movie and you have to watch this movie. But I'm happy. I, I just came across that they're really cheap. That was kind of a cool thing to happen. But yes, there's something about Mary. Uh, another movie I found really cheap. Um, where the hell did I get this at? This tag looks funny. Oh. FYE. I'm sorry. Three ninety four FYE. I think that's an FYE tag. Yeah, it's got to be. Why does it just look funny? I don't know. Anyways, Guilt Trip. Seth Rogen. Uh, Barbara Streisand. I'm an idiot. I remember liking this movie a lot. Basically, he just kind of goes on this trip with this road trip with his mom, and it's it's hilarious. It's funny. Uh, and like I said, only four dollars used. Um, and I figured, yeah, I'll grab it. I, I remember actually watching this with my mom. I remember that, and she liked it a lot. But that's yeah, a cool Seth Rogen film. Check it out. Next up, here's a film I picked up over at Pawn America. And see all that smoke again? <laughs> I have very smoky videos. I don't smoke, I swear to God. Um, anyway. <laughs> Pawn America, $6. Outbreak. Um... Dustin Hoffman, Rene, uh, Rene Russo, Morgan Freeman. This is a cool movie. I, I haven't seen this in a really long time, and I was kind of looking through all their movies, and I came across it, and I'm like, hey, <laughs> cool. And I didn't know this was on Blu-ray. And I remember liking it. It's just one of those, like, like you know, it's like a deadly virus taking over the world, and they got to try to figure out what it is, and it ends up being, like, like this disease from, like, monkeys or something. <laughs> Uh, it, like, it's been a long time since I've seen it, but I, I remember liking it a lot. Um, kind of a creepy movie. Oh, why did I get so many movies this month? Oh, I have a problem. There's a bunch of movies in here I probably didn't even need to get. <laughs> like this one. Oh, that was all right. But I got it because it was $3 in the half price books clearance section. Spy. Melissa McCarthy, Jason Statham. Um, it was a funny movie. I mean, I'll buy it for three dollars. You know, um, it's not the type of movie that I like would rush out and buy uh, on release day for twenty bucks. Uh, but for three dollars, it was worth uh, picking up. I love Melissa McCarthy. She's awesome. All right, next up we got a movie from DreamWorks, The Crudes. Um, I already have the slipcover on this, so uh, I found it. Um, I think half price books. Yeah. It's like seven bucks or something. This is a this is a cool movie. I, I like this movie a lot. I'm I'm happy to upgrade this to Blu-ray. Um, Nicholas Cage talks the main character, the dad in this movie, but this is a, a, a really fun film uh, about this like this family of like cavemen um, and cave ladies. Um, but yeah, yeah, cool DreamWorks film. Uh, another film I picked up from the three dollar clearance section, the half price books. God, this video so damn long. My like battery almost just died. I had to plug in my charger. Uh, Will Smith, Hitch, funny movie. One of like the first movies I ever remember seeing. Um, um, Kevin James and wow. Um, hey, this is a cool movie. Uh, Will Smith. Um, and uh, who, who's that main girl in here? Eva Mendes, yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I found it for three dollars, and uh, another one of those movies that you know wasn't rushing out to get, but it was in the clearance section, uh, and I liked it a lot. It's a funny movie, so yeah, grab that for three dollars. Next up is a movie I, I'm happy to have found, and uh, this is another one of those two dollar movies at that pawn shop, and I, I'm so surprised I found this for two bucks. But uh, dude, where's my car? This is a this is a cool movie. I, I like this movie. Sean William Scott. Uh, Ashton Kutcher, like one of their first, for both of them, one of their first movies that they that they did when they were just getting big. I think this is, might even be before American Pie, if I'm right. Maybe it was right after American Pie, the first one. I don't really remember, but anyways, two dollars at uh, uh, Lincoln Pawn, I believe, it was the, the pawn shop uh, I picked it up at. But yeah, I, I'm happy to find uh, to have found this. I did another movie I didn't really know was on Blu-ray already, but. Uh, this is a cool movie, kind of stupid, cheesy, slapstick comedy, but uh, I like it. All right, next up, we got a couple of Schwarzenegger films. 
And yep, got to get anything Schwarzenegger and Stallone that I find. First one up, Collateral Damage. This is one that I happen to have never seen before. Um, and I think this is like a early 2000s. Yeah, 2001, I believe. So let me know what you guys think of Collateral Damage. Is this a good film? And why the hell have we not gotten True Lies on Blu-ray yet? I just want to say that. just want to throw that out there. Actually, you know, to be honest with you, I read something not too long ago that uh, I think um, they're, like, getting ready to release it or something. Who's got that one? I can't remember. Is that, like, Warner Brothers? Or... I can't remember. But anyways, supposedly they're working on getting a Blu-ray Blu release of True Lies. Yes, bring it. And then uh, the next one I got is uh, Red Heat, uh, the movie he did with James Belushi. Uh, I think this came out in like 1988, but uh, I've seen it. It's been a long time since I've seen this movie, but um, I, uh, I remember liking it. But like, like I said, I just collect Schwarzenegger and Stallone films and found it for five bucks at the pawn shop. So Red Heat. <sighs> Almost done with A to Z. Another $3 clearance title. Hancock. It's, it's kind of fun. I, a lot of people hate this movie. I mean, it's not it's not like the greatest film or anything, but it, it was pretty cool. It was kind of a neat movie. I don't know. Kind of a <laughs> different idea of a movie. But, uh, like I said, I, I've seen this movie so many times. I mean, this is just that movie that you see at like every used place you go to. And it's always like six, seven, eight bucks. And that's why I've never picked it up because it's just not worth it to me to get it for that much money, even though that's not a lot of money, but not for a movie like this. But if I find it for $3, I'm going to grab it. And that's what I got it for. So next up, we got ourselves a cool digi book of seven. Um, I found this at the pawn shop for $7. Seven for seven. What do you know? <laughs> uh, this is cool. I like this. There's a still book that I think there's like, it's just coming out. There's a still book that. Who the hell is releasing that? Zavi or something? Um, of this coming out soon. That looks pretty damn cool. I love the artwork on it. But this is a cool Digibook. I already own this on Blu-ray. But I figured, you know what? I'd rather have the Digibook of this. Alright. And next up here is All Eyes on Me. Uh, fairly new movie came out a few weeks back. A um, little biopic on Tupac. Um, haven't watched this yet. I... I I meant to watch this like right when I got this. I brought it over to my dad's, but we never got around to watching it. But I heard that this was actually a pretty good biopic on the the life story of uh, of Tupac. Not a big. I wasn't like a huge Tupac fan or anything, but you know me and biopics. Um, and you know, like I said, I heard a lot of good things about it. Um, so I had to pick it up. Um, so looking forward to watching this uh, very very soon. All right, in the final film from A to Z is a Shout Factory release, Mr. Mom. I found this at FYE uh, for the same price as like Amazon. Brand new. And I'm pretty positive this is first time to Blu-ray. I'm almost positive on that. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, like I said, Shout Factory is the same company as Scream Factory, but they do uh, release their Shout Factory line of films. Um, the Shout Selects right there. Um, I love Mr. Mom. Um, this is the collector's edition with the slipcover, badass slipcover. Love the new uh, artwork. Here's the original artwork underneath, just like the uh, Scream Factories do. Um, and of course we get uh, a decent amount of special features. Actually, no, not really. Take that back. Barely shit in here. <laughs> um... This is all you get. <laughs> it looks like it's like a behind the scenes and then a theatrical trailer. Uh, I thought there was more special features in here. But I love Mr. Mom, one of Michael Keaton's funniest films from the 80s. Um, and I'm so happy to that Shout Factory got their hands on this and released this because I can't wait to watch this. It's been a long time since I've watched this movie and this should look good on Blu-ray. Shout Factory, Scream Factory does a kick-ass job on their transfers, so I bet it's going to look great, but really happy to finally have Mr. Mom on Blu-ray. Um, I don't even think I... I think I used to own this on DVD for a long time ago, or maybe VHS, I don't even remember, but uh, awesome new edition of this film. 
There's my A to Z titles. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to have to wrap up this first half. Uh, all I got left is, uh, that I was going to try to squeeze in here is uh, my collector set that I got in my Disney. And uh, I'm already at like an hour or something. <laughs> so we're going to have to cut this first half right now. So, uh, yeah, so the uh, last half will be all my Disney's and my still books and my collector set. So go click on that video. And uh, thanks for sticking through. I know this is taking a long time, you guys. I'm trying to get through them so fast. Uh, this is just insane. Like I said, the biggest Blu-ray update in the history of mankind. And there's Jeff with YouTube. So, yeah, go check out part two. We'll see you guys in that video. Later.